Gadolinium is a toxic heavy metal that is injected into the bloodstream during MRIs. Doctors will say that it's safe, they'll say that it's necessary, and they will say that it leaves the body. However, this could not be further from the truth. As you can see on this YouTube page, there are a lot of people poisoned by it. These are just some of my symptoms. Rashes, arrhythmia, tachycardia, calcified organs, wrinkled skin and lost collagen, severe insomnia, breast pain, stabbing pains in my organs, fasciculations, headaches. It feels like concrete has been poured into your brain, cracking bones, worsened memories, burning in my brain, ringing in my ears, stuttering, brain damage, blank thoughts. Their period becomes irregular. My organs actually hardened in my intestinal areas. Vertigo, acne, numbness in my limbs and feet and arms. Convulsions, gadolinium induced dementia, loss of muscle control. I couldn't smile um, the day after my MRI at all because I couldn't move the muscles in my face. I wouldn't be able to control my neck. My neck also cracks whenever I turn it. Pulling feeling in your organs, buzzing in the nerves. It feels like my skin's on fire all the time. Next thing is suicidal ideation, like glass shards in your bones. I laid in bed and it felt like someone was taking a drill into my bones. As a result of that, it started to hurt to lay down, it started to hurt to sit, it started to hurt to walk. I fell in my front yard, I fell in my hallway, I fell in the driveway and I would just be like, uh, uh. I went from like literally not being able to speak and convulsing every day to like slowly being able to speak again. It's pretty much hell if I could, hell in a hand basket if I can describe it. If you or a loved one have been harmed by gadolinium, first, I'm so sorry. But second of all, email mrigadoliniumdisease at gmail.com. Your email will go to Dr. Regina Sutton who is currently looking for people's information so that she can get us approved with an actual medical diagnosis. Also, you can report your case to the FDA. We need the power and numbers to show that this is happening to people everywhere. And lastly, you can join our Facebook groups or social media. If you have not been harmed by GAD, consider yourself lucky and run the other way. I'm just kidding. We actually need your help. So there's a drug that can potentially chelate gadolinium. But believe it or not, it's not publicly available. Weird how that works, isn't it? The antidote is not available. Another thing is we really want to see gadolinium deposition disease on consent forms. As of right now, people are not told that there is an issue with taking gadolinium unless they have kidney disease. That is just outright wrong. So call up your local congressperson and tell them, hey look, I've noticed some of my friends have been getting poisoned and mentioned these two things to them. We need funding for HOPO, the drug that can chelate gadolinium, and we need informed consent because it's not really enough to just put it in small print on a medication guide that no patient receives. Who's going to be able to see it if you're not giving them the medication guides? We need GDD put on consent forms. When people sign for MRIs, tell them what is possible. Thank you for watching and come back again.